up guys welcome back to my channel xox should be here if you're new to my channel hello and welcome if you're an og subscriber what's good welcome back so in today's video we are going to be reviewing two wigs from the stylist they are oldies but we'll see if they're goodies i have never worn these before i have the stylist um spicy curl in ot30 and i also have uh the stylist swiss goddess in ot30 i didn't think that through so I'm going to need some crowd participation because we're going to compare these units. I figure since they're older wigs, like two, three years old, I think, like maybe, yeah, like two, three years old. I think Goddess is like three or something years old and uh, the curly one is like two something years old. Something like that. I don't know. But they kind of old. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to compare these to see how, you know, they match up to the wigs that we wear now because you know they've really been upgrading the wigs a lot of these brands have been really been upgrading the wigs and i'm here for it also these units are super beginner friendly because they're lace parts so if you're part of the beginner friendly fam these will be some good units for you so let's talk about these units real quick i'm gonna pull out spicy curl first and then i'll pull out the goddess one and so with spicy curl it's obviously it's an ot30 i said that but um what else the four inch parting space it's gonna hold a glare so i'm not even gonna show y'all it's a four inch parting space and it's a curved part unit and it is heat safe it says 350 to 400 degrees so don't go above that so this does have a darker toned lace so if you have a darker skin tone this will work pretty well for you i'm not too worried about the color the lacing is it is a lace part unit even though it'll be a little it'll be a little too dark for me um i can tell but even with that like when I put my little foundation over the part, it's not gonna matter because it's just a lace part. So as far as like lace edge, they give you about a half inch of lace edge there. It is a scratchier scalp construction. Got the two combs on the side, one in the back, and you do have adjustable straps, so it does have a standard cap construction. The knitted caps are really my favorite because I like my cap. I like I like my head to breathe, you know. So the parting space is a lot more narrow than a lot of the units we have now. And I, I did notice that actually over the years of just reviewing wigs that over the years, like the parts have been getting wider and wider and you don't have to pluck as much. Because I remember back in the day, like a sensational wig, you had to pluck that thing from like beginning to end. Like it was just no parting space. This one is not as bad as that, but you know, it's still on the narrow side. Curls are very bouncy. They're not too manufactured looking, so I like that because, you know, sometimes if you get a synthetic curly wig like this, it can look a little too, like, manufactured curl. I wonder if I can, like, maybe turn this into bangs or something. I don't know because I got a little forehead. And they said it is a soft Swiss lace, but, you know, um, if you watched my video where I was talking about the, which wig was it? The Free Trust in, uh, Illusion Hairline Wig. This feels like that lace. So I would definitely say, you know, some things from the past are good to bring back. It's a soft Swiss lace, but it's a sturdier soft Swiss, girl, I can't talk. It's a sturdier soft Swiss lace. So that's Spicy Curl. Now let's check out Miss Goddess here. I don't know why I didn't think it through and getting this in a different color. You know what? I actually wasn't even planning on doing this together. It just happened. So Goddess here is actually a four by four parting space unit. And um, it does have a little bit of lace edge. Oh, that's the front. It's a four by four. So it does have some lace edge though. We ain't seen a silk base in a minute. Um, I don't know if I was actually a fan of a silk base or not. I, I, I actually, it just depends. It just depends. Y'all like, y'all miss the silk tops? Like most, most synthetic brands don't do a silk top anymore. But anyways, it don't really got no age, lace edge. Like the sewing goes a little bit farther. The track like goes into where the lace would give you a little bit of lace edge so there really is no lace edge to it one thing i can definitely say for certain that has come up in the years is y'all see how thick this hairline is like you're gonna have to pluck pluck in order for this to look good like i'm gonna have to actually thin it out and do a little bit to the hairline like i'm spoiled now i'm used to the fact that most of these come already thinned out now i gotta do it so i'm gonna customize these ladies right quick and then i'm gonna come back and give you guys my thoughts on each unit don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have not already and stay through to the end of the video because you might have got the comment shout out you never know
right, so let's talk about Miss Spicy Curl first. Why? Because she was easier to put on, and I figured we'll mess with the long one at the end, and then I'll have to do nothing else. Like, I'd be so done when I take them wigs off, I wouldn't do nothing else. So we start out with the easier one. Spicy Curl is definitely beginner friendly. I actually really love this unit way more than I thought I was going to. Like, yes, Carrot Top better watch his back because I'm coming for him. I love the fullness of this unit, but I also love how lightweight it still feels. Like, they didn't put too much hair in this unit. Sometimes when you get a synthetic um, big curly unit, they can put too much hair in it and it just looks like, you know, big and synthetic. And yeah, I love how easy it was to kind of like flatten this down a little bit. Um, at the top so you can you know see I got a part that actually goes really far back it feels like it's more than four inches back um it, it really looks like it's about six inches if you pluck it so when I came to plucking this one though just to note I went back to the old school style of plucking since this is a more old school style of wig and I pulled them hairs out I wasn't trying to mess with them tweezers I tried it for like two seconds I was like what am I doing and I twist my hand around them hairs and just pop 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 them out. So as far as the fit on this one, I actually really love the fit. It fits really well. I definitely feel like it is big head friendly. Well, I say this, it's definitely average head size friendly for sure because this really fits my head. I did personally slide this back just a little and use my natural edges for baby hair instead of trying to create baby hair with this unit. It doesn't come with baby hair for you already. That is something you have to do on your own. As far as the tangling and the shedding, so you know, it is a curly, big curly unit, so you will get some tangling, but you know, this isn't the type of unit you run your hands through, so not a big deal there. And honestly, like, most of the tangle will probably happen in the back as it like rubs against your nape and stuff like that. As far as the shedding though, I did note some shedding coming out of the hair. And I can't even say that it could be from the part really because I pulled those hairs out and when I pulled those out, like, you know, it doesn't just fly into the abyss of the hair. Like it just, it comes out with my hands. So I can't say any shedding really got tangled in this one. So it does shed a little bit, but like I said, you know, you're not really trying to run your hands through it. Like I'm running my hands through it for y'all, but like on average, I wouldn't be running my hands through it, you know? The texture with this unit is so smooth, but like not a silky smooth. It is a very like, Still coarse, but kind of smooth. Now it is a bit shiny, and of course my ring light ain't helping nothing, but it is a bit shiny on its own. So, you know, just take a little powder, pull it through the hair, it'll take it out for you. I'm very impressed, again, for how the age, how old this wig is, I should say. And it's still popping like this. Like, okay, give it to the girls. So here's a side view. I feel like it might be a little flat in the back, but you can kind of fluff it, you know? Other side view. The back, I hope my head's not covering that for y'all. But the back. So as far as if this Odie is still a goodie, I would definitely say this is a, it's still a goodie. Like it's an Odie but goodie for sure. So yeah, that's this one. So now let's get into Miss Goddess and see what she's bringing for us. <laughs> This wig right here, the nerve, the nerve. Once again, I am pleasantly surprised by how popping this unit still is. So I think this one came out around, I want to say like 2018 maybe. I'm not going to look it up because it's a waste of time. Compared to the new units and stuff that's out lately, like this is, this is keeping up with the girls. Like for real, this unit is laying on complete and utter flat flat. Like it's flat. Like if it ain't nothing else, it's flat. And it's not even a frontal unit. It is a silk-based closure unit, as we discussed beforehand. And look how flat that is laying. And I'm still loving, like, this one just as well because I didn't, you know, in the spirit of keeping it being friendly, I didn't go in plucking like I probably would have gone in plucking to thin it out and make the hairline match and use it as my hairline. I said this was going to be beginner friendly, so I didn't go in like I usually would go in. I still went in a little bit because, you know, I can't resist. But I didn't go in, go in. And honestly, if you do what I'm about to talk about, then you don't have to go in at all. Honestly, you really don't have to. It, it doesn't hurt, but you don't have to. So anyways, I used my own edges again because they were already slicked and my, like the hair really flows with my natural edges. It looks really good together. This is like laying seamlessly and flawlessly. This unit, you guys, like I didn't even try to melt it like that and it's melted. This wig took so well to the heat that I put on it. I did 
I kept my hot comb, if you're using a hot comb and not like a flat iron, that'll tell you. I kept it around 15, no higher than that, because I consider that probably around like the 400 degree mark on a flat iron. Now, I didn't choose the side part life. The side part life chose me on this one. I planned on doing a middle part when I put this unit on, but something was just like, I don't know, it was the spirit telling me do a side part. So I did a side part, and I'm so happy with it. Like, this is a sharp little side part. Like, I just, this unit looks good, guys. I'm gonna sit up a little higher so y'all can get like all of the unit because I'm I was sitting kind of low. So it comes about I would say 22 inches or so. It's a little bit past boob length, kind of on its way to uh, waist length, but a little like maybe the sh the ends maybe reaching waist length. But I would say maybe 20. Actually, you know I give it 24, about 24 inches. It does give you like longer layers. You know, layers give you more movement, and I like a little movement in my wigs. Now I will say this does tangle. So you're gonna have to watch for that, but you know, it is a synthetic unit and ooh. anyways, like I was saying, it's synthetic. So, you know, it's gonna tangle a little bit when it's long like this. Um, so you're gonna have to watch for that. Keep your paddle brush on you cause you're gonna have to brush this one out. As far as shedding, I have gotten a few strands running my fingers through the hair, but I would maybe charge it to the game on this one just a little bit if you pluck it. You may not have the same experience if you don't pluck it. I would say since I'm only getting a few strands, um, having plucked it that you probably wouldn't get too many strands with it unplucked if you choose not to the density is like perfect it's i would give it like 150 percent density if you're going by like a virgin hair density kind of scale the texture on this one is pretty much just like spicy curl is you know it's smooth but it's also like coarse like you can feel the coarseness to the hair it's got a little grit to it i would say it's a i would say it's a pretty regular fitting cap i don't know why i can't talk today but it's a pretty regular fitting cap i would say you can slide it up a little more if you don't want any hair out and then and, um what was I about to say oh that's what it was if you have a larger head it'll still like you can it stretches out like it's got room in the back you can take the adjustable straps down if you need to because I did actually adjust the straps on the second notch back there and it fits my head pretty perfect um as far as the lace covering my edges oh wait, wait I pushed it back that's that's not gonna matter in this video honestly outside of the tangling with this unit she can hang with the new girls uh, I can't even really say it's because of the tangling, though, because the new ones be tangling, too, though. So, I mean, you know, when it comes to, like, the new hairline units, this one can hang. This is actually a very good unit if you're not too ready for frontals yet, but you want something that looks very natural. Like, I'm feeling this one. This is a good one. Definitely beginner-friendly. Overall, though, I do have to say I approve of both of these units. I, I, I'm presently surprised. Comment shout-out in this video goes to Makeup by Carrie. Check out her channel. She does have one, and she does makeup reviews. Obviously, it's in the name. And she does wig reviews, too. So check her out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You want to pick up these units, they'll be linked down below in the description box. Shout-out to Sam's Beauty for sending these lovely units to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.